The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Whom should I dread? When those who do evil draw near, they stumble and fall. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us now call to mind our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to, and to you, you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, from whom all good things come, grant that we will call on you in our need. May the prompting discern what is right, and by your guidance do it. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. At the mountain of God, Horeb, Elijah came to a cave where he took shelter. But the word of the Lord came to him, go outside and stand on the mountain before the Lord. The Lord will be passing by. A strong and heavy wind was rending the mountains and crashing rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. After the wind, there was an earthquake, but the Lord was not in earthquake. After the earthquake, there was fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. After the fire, there was a tiny whispering sound. When he heard this, Elijah hid his face in his cloak and went and stood at the entrance of the cave. A voice said to him, Elijah, why are you here? He replied, I have been most zealous for the Lord, the, go the God of hosts. But the children of Israel have forsaken your covenant, turned down your altars, and put your prophets to the sword. I alone am left, and they seek to my life. The Lord said to him, Go, take the road back to the desert near Damascus. When you arrive, you shall anoint Hazel as king of Aram. Then you shall anoint Jeho, son of Nemshi, as king of Israel and Elisha, son of Shaphat of Abel-Mehola, as prophet to succeed you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I long to see your face, O Lord. I long to see your face, O Lord. Hear, O Lord, the sound of my call. Have pity on me and answer me. Of you my heart speaks, you my glance seeks. I long to see your face, O Lord. Your presence, O Lord, I seek. Hide not your face from me. Do not in anger repel your servant. You are my helper. Cast me not off. I long to see your face, O Lord. 
I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. I long to see your face, O Lord. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia. Shine like lights in the world as you hold on to the world, to the word of life. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, You shall not commit adultery. But I say to you, Everyone who looks at a woman with lust has already committed adultery with her and his heart. If your right eye causes you to sin, tear it out and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one of your members than to have your whole body thrown into Gehenna. And if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one of your members than to have your whole body go into Gehenna. It was also said, whoever divorces his wife must give her a bill of divorce. But I say to you, Whoever divorces his wife, unless the marriage is unlawful, causes her to commit adultery, and whoever marries a divorced woman commits adultery. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My Agas Tanan, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, good morning to all of you. Let us meditate on the first reading. Here we hear a story about the, about the prophet Elijah who fled to the sacred mountain, the mountain of God. There are two names for this mountain. It is called Sinai. In some traditions, as Horeb. That's why in the Pentateuchal studies, they would uh, distinguish this in terms of the sources of the tradition. Pero actually, it refers to the same mountain, basically. The Sinai or Horeb is just the same. Anyway, now Elijah went there to, to take shelter from the, we know the story, from Ahab. And he was waiting for the Lord. And the Lord's presence was preceded by, as mentioned here, by a strong and heavy wind, by crushing rocks, by earthquake, by fire. And so those are terrible uh, manifestations of the Lord. No? So, pero at towards the end, the fire, there's a tiny whispering sound. It recalls the, man of the theophany to Moses. Remember, God also manifested himself in Sinai or in Horeb, if you want to use that uh, designation, in the burning bush, in the fire. Here, the same is true to Elijah. The Lord God manifested himself to the prophet through the fire, and from that fire spoke to him in tiny whispering sound. There is a difference between that of Moses and that of Elijah. We can imagine that uh, in Moses' case, the, uh, Moses was 
terrified because at the time he did not know yet the God of Israel. He was so familiar with the gods of Egypt and maybe the gods of the Midianites, pero in terms of the God of Israel, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, he is still unaware or strangers. They are just they are, they are still strangers to each other. Here, Elijah already knew that it was the Lord. That's why when the when the wind, the earthquake, and the blazing fire, and the fire came, Elijah went to the mouth of the cave. And uh, when he was asked, Elijah, why are you here? He was already familiar with the voice of God. And he said, I have been more zealous for the Lord, the God of hosts. So he recognized. Unlike that to Moses, he, Moses has to ask, who are you? What is your name? Elijah knew it was the Lord. He was already familiar with the Lord. Okay. So, what is it to us? Anong labot sa kabuhi natin if you're going to apply it now to ourselves? Well, number one, in terms of the manifestations of God. God can manifest Himself in great things. He can manifest Himself by, you know, miraculous works. By spectacular um, pillars of fire, for example, the parting of the Red Sea, in earthquakes and strong winds, you know, God can manifest Himself through that, showing His power. Pero God also can and is manifesting Himself in whispers, those things that are knowing our hearts, no? those, those little things that seems to make us restless, no? those gentle promptings, God can also be there. So, that's why, for example, kita, and rightly so, we ask the Lord for signs, for, for well, signs of His, of, of His response, di ba Lord, ganito, ganyan, ganyan. Sometimes we look for signs in the spectacular. Pero you know, sometimes, sometimes God speaks to us in the restlessness of our hearts. In those little things that bothers us or that makes us uh, frustrated sometimes or even those things that makes us uh, irritated. No? Sometimes God is speaking to that and we should listen to it. Yes, um, for example, no? in terms of vocations, for example, sa mga vocation, sa pagkamadri o kung pagkapari o kung pagkarinyoso, whatever vocation the Lord is uh, calling you, sometimes it's not that really that God spoke to us just like He did to Elijah or to Moses. Why man ang Diyos nagambala? Naging tawag niya nga, oh, sige, lakat di. Kaya bati niya nang nagambala, ang ginoo nga, Naghambalagi siya in verse na, Dio, this is what I want. No, did not hear that. Pero there is always that uh, gentle whisperings in the heart. No? Nga, ikatsug, kung sa kano ba lang, may, may, may chug dyan. Or sometimes gani, dokwan lang, no? dogin, dogin pahid na ba lang akwan. They're very gentle. They're not really shouting. The Lord is shouting for us to hear. No, sometimes gentle whisperings. Te amo na no in uh, in uh, in the case of Elijah, he heard the Lord in the soft, gentle whispering sound. And I think God continues to do so. Galing problema naton. Wala talaga pa himuyong. We are in the midst of noise. We preoccupy ourselves with so many things. 
So many noises in our lives. Not literally sounds, but noise. Ang kahod. So many overthinking, as they say it, for example, or overfeeling. If there's overthinking, there's also overfeeling. No? Or so many preoccupations. No more time to settle down and listen to the sweet, to the sweet but gentle promptings of the Spirit. Tipata kabati, gamba na galing ginoo sa atong. Galing kagahod. Sino kagahod? Kita. Again, na palibutan nato ng kagalingon nato sa gahod. Not literally, ha? Di ba si Padre man, nakatimi sa kwan? Disyerto man? O kung sa monasteryo para magpahimuyong? Well, maybe. Pero sometimes, we just need to, to, to deload ourselves from so many noises that we are creating in our own lives. Not literally sounds, but preoccupations. Because by that, we are actually droning the gentle whispers of God. Let us now offer our petitions to the Lord as we say, Lord, help us keep our hearts pure. Lord, help us keep our hearts pure. May pastors of the church always propose and defend the sacramentality and ideals of marriage marked by a commitment to exclusivity and stability. We pray. Lord, help us keep our hearts pure. May young adults not succumb to the culture of the ephemeral, moving from one effect, affective relationship to another, connecting or disconnecting love at their whims. We pray. Lord, help us keep our hearts pure. May couples face and strive to overcome crisis and hardships in marriage without fleeing from challenges or concealing problems. We pray. Lord, help us keep our hearts pure. May couples who face crisis in marriage recognize their need for healing. Pray for the grace to forgive and be forgiven. Be willing to accept help and never give up trying to preserve their marriage. We pray. Lord, help us keep our hearts pure. May everyone be concerned with the spread of for pornography and the commercialization of the body, fostered also by a misuse of the internet. We pray. Lord, help us keep our hearts pure. Almighty God, you said that you hate divorce. Make us honor human sexuality through love and indissolubility of marriage. We make this prayer to Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Brave brethren, that my sacrifice and yours be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you and lead us to grow in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is to the right and just our duty in our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father. Almighty and eternal God, through Jesus Christ our Lord, his death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gives you pray. By sending down your spirit upon them that do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray the partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Make us grow in charity together with Francis, our Pope, Patricio, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Sebastian, St. Lorenzo Ruiz, St. Pedro Calungsod, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. We may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let's now pray in the words 
our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer Shahada the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world and grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my saving strength. For those who are joining our live stream celebration, let us now pray the spiritual communion prayer. O oh my Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the blessed sacrament. I love you and I desire to come into my heart. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you, O oh, never leave me. May the burning and most sweet power of your love consume me, that I may die for you who died for love of me. Amen.
let us pray. May your healing work, O Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil and lead us to what is right. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let's now pray the Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strengthen their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health, protect those who care for them, grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, help of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. Saint Sebastian. Pray for us. Saint Rock. Pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. Saint Pedro Calongso. Pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.